One of the most common questions that I get asked on this channel is, if I'm a beginner or intermediate photographer, what editing software should I be using? And today I'm gonna show you one of the most insane editing softwares that I have ever used, and I, I don't even understand how it's doing that. How did it do that? And while, while the software that we're looking at today Yes, it is geared more towards beginner and intermediate hobbyist photographers. It, it can do some things that would take me hours as a professional in Lightroom and Photoshop, and it, it just does it with a few sliders. A couple months back, Illuminar Neo reached out and they said, hey, do you want to check out something cool? To which, of, of course, I want to check out something cool. They sent me over their software. They said, just play around with it. See what you can create with it. See how it works into your workflow. And uh, it's kind of crazy. There's about a hundred features that I could go through with Luminar Neo. Today I'm gonna go through the top three or four that really stood out to me as I started playing with the software and, and just show you what it can do. And again, almost everything in Luminar Neo is taking things that I do in Lightroom and Photoshop and it it converted them all into slides. It's using artificial intelligence, you'll, you'll see. Let me jump in here, we are in Luminar Neo. This is just a bunch of photos that I pulled in. These are kind of just some of my, my favorite photos from our life, and, and we're gonna jazz them up a little bit today with Luminar Neo. So the first thing that I'm gonna jump into is some of these photos that don't have a sky. So for instance, here's a shot of us up in Mammoth, and it was this great shot, this really cool photo with these cool mountains. We got the water in there. We've got our, our dog, Zoe. This is before we even had kids, but we didn't get much of a sky. We just kind of got a bleh, sky. And using something called Sky AI, Sky Artificial Intelligence, within Luminar Neo, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how we can make this photo significantly better. Again, just a few clicks on a slider. Let's jump over to the edit panel here, and we're gonna click right over here on favorites, Sky AI. Sky selection is the first thing you're gonna see. And if I go in here, I can see that there's a bunch of skies already loaded up in here. I can go to their website, I can order more skies, or I can actually put my own skies into this program. So if I go back and I look at all of my photos that I've ever had with cool skies in them, I could grab those skies and put them in here and use them for future photos. Now watch what we do. This photo definitely needs a blue sky. I'm gonna click that drop down and click blue sky. And now here's just their blue skies that they offer preloaded. Let's click on one of these wispy ones. I feel like wispy clouds. Um, that was one click. It's pretty much done. I don't know. Ah, okay, we're gonna go through a few more photos and I'll show you how, how you can actually import that sky in there, but you can tweak it to make it look a little more natural, fit the scene even a little better. But let's jump back here and we'll go down to something like this photo. This is just an iPhone photo that I shot of Eleanor at the beach. It was sunset and we didn't get a great sunset. So let's go into Sky AI and now in skies, let's select sunsets. Boom, here's my sunsets. Find kind of a one that I think would naturally fit. Let's click this guy. And right off the bat, again, it looks pretty good. Now, if I look at this photo in particular, I can kind of see some glow around her hair. I think that the sky is a little dark for this photo. How, how I would think it would be is a little brighter. And the sun, the sun's in the wrong spot. In San Diego, where that spot is, that's south, and it, the sun should be over here, and it's it's over there. So let's, let's fix all that. So first thing I'm gonna do is go into my sky orientation, and I'm gonna change the vertical position by just dropping that sunset behind the horizon. And you can see how well, like look how it cut around all of this, all of this here, it cut all that out. That would take me, uh, so long in other programs, this is ridiculous. And now let's go down a little bit more. I'm gonna use this global refinement and this is just gonna kind of clean up the cutout around her hair, crank that up a bit and that, that really filled all that in. That looks really good. And now again, like I said, I think that the sky is a little too dark. So we're gonna go all the way down to sky adjustments. And I think that sky adjustments is probably where you can make the sky look most natural to the image. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brighten up the sky because I think the sky should be brighter for the image like this. That's already, I mean, that already looks ridiculous. Look at the before. There's the before, bloop, after. This has been like 30 seconds of work. <laughs> but next up, I'm gonna look back here and I can see this is all pretty blurry. Even on the iPhone, I wasn't using portrait mode. I was just close to her. So this all blurred out back here, but my sky is, is fairly in focus. So the next thing I can do is I can defocus the sky a little bit blur it out a bit, that looks really nice. And I'm gonna add a little bit of grain to the sky because there's some grain 
on her so it kind of matches the grain of both. That's about all you gotta do to add a sky to an image. There's the before and there's the after. <sighs> Luminar Neo. Let's do let's do one more because this the sky replacement thing. It's for sure the thing in this program that's gonna break your brain the most. Let's jump over here. Here's a shot. We were in Maui, cool Jeep that we had rented, took this photo on the side of the road, but again, no sky. But interestingly, and the reason I haven't ever gone into Photoshop and tried to replace the sky is look at these bushes and how intricate that cutout would be if I was trying to cut out around all those bushes that just seems like something I don't wanna do. So I've had a blank sky for all these years. We're gonna go in here and change it really quickly. Blue sky, let's click on one of the wispies right away. <laughs> I haven't even touched the sliders, that is just one click. And then same thing I would say if I brightened this sky just a little bit, we defocused it a touch, not too much, cause this really didn't have too blurry of a background. And then I added a little bit of grain the grain always does it. The grain, the grain really helps sell the effect. If I posted that anyway, if I printed it, I don't think you would know that that wasn't the original sky. Again, before, after. <laughs> We're gonna jump back over to catalog and I'm gonna show you guys their face AI, their skin AI, and their body AI. Again, it knows, it's using AI to read your image and understand what's what, and then, and then you can make cool changes. Let's go down to a photo that I love of Morgan. This is one that we did recently for her band. Let's jump over to edit. And I don't have to develop this one because this is an image that I've already developed. It just hasn't gone through any sort of touch up processes yet. So this is exactly what she looked like at a camera. Here is face AI. And again, it understands what's her face and what's the background. So right away I can do face light. Watch this. If I pump it all the way, you can see what it's doing. It's just lighting her face. So I'm gonna bring that all the way back down. A lot of times in an image, it helps to light the face of your subject. So I'm gonna use like a beauty light. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to light the face so that the face is a bit brighter than the rest of, of the subject. And that looks really nice. But in here we're gonna do that in post by just pulling that face light up. Let's crank it just a little bit. Every every one of these sliders, I wanna just throw this warning out there. You could crank them and really go crazy with them. Subtlety is your friend though. Use moderation. And at 10 there, you can really start to see that face is already popping a lot more. So before and after. Uh, we're gonna jump down to the next thing with in-face AI and that is eyes. This one is gonna save me so much time because this is something I take most of my images into Photoshop just to touch up the eyes a tiny bit. There's a ton of things you can do in here. Let's just go over a few of them though. Iris flare, let's crank it first just to show you kind of what this is controlling. And again, Luminar Neo knows that these are her eyeballs and these are the irises. It's gonna focus just on that with this slider. We're gonna crank that all the way down, all the way up. You can see if we found somewhere kind of right in here, that looks beautiful. And it looks really natural still. We haven't, we haven't gone so crazy that it's like, oh wow, they really did something to that girl. Trying to be very gentle, we're trying to be very moderate. Here's the before and here's the after. You see her face pops just a little bit and her eyes pop just a little bit. Next down from that is eye whitening. And for that, I'm gonna jump over to a different image because we have one where we did a shoot out in the Salton Sea and it was super dry. See how nice and uh, nice and red her eyes got there? We're gonna, we're gonna fix that with one slider. Again, we're gonna go down to the face AI. We can go ahead and crank those irises again. Take a little eye pop in this one's gonna look cool. There's the before and the after. And now let's whiten those eyes. And this is something, again, I always do to my subjects. I don't wanna make them crazy. I don't wanna make them glow. You see some people that, that fully whiten them. They brighten them up. They look kind of, I don't know, it just looks fake. So you do have the power to do that in here, but with great power comes great responsibility. So let's bring that way back down and I'm just gonna kind of ease into them just a touch and get rid of kind of what the desert was doing to her. We're gonna zoom out real quick because I wanna show you her lips because in here we also have something for the mouth, which is one thing that models or brides are always doing during shoots are, are I wanna touch up my lips real quick. Let me, let me grab my lipstick and, and touch up my lips. We're gonna do that in post, again, just with sliders. So you see we have lip saturation, lip redness, lip darkening, and teeth whitening. We don't have teeth in this image, but let's just attack those lips with some saturation. Let's, let's go crazy with it first so you can just see how good of a job it does just targeting the lips before and after. 
It knows exactly where her lips are. It's masked it out and is only adding saturation to there. So let's bring that down a little bit. Lip redness kind of adjusts the hue a bit and makes her lips more red. We can really make it look like she's fully wearing lipstick and then we can darken that a little bit so it looks a little little deeper in tone. Now, obviously, um, Morgan doesn't wear lipstick like that. So let's fix that and make it look a little more natural. We'll bring the redness down, the darkening down. The saturation is pretty good, actually. The saturation looks good. And pop that. That's about what she looked like at the very beginning of the shoot. And then if I if I turn it off, this is what happens during the shoot is, you know, lips wear off. Next, let's jump down to skin AI and body AI. Skin AI is basically doing frequency separation within Photoshop. If you don't know what frequency separation is in Photoshop, um, don't worry about it. Just get Luminar Neo because it is doing it for you with amount and shine removal. So again, let's just go crazy with these tools so that we can show what they're doing. This has perfectly attacked just her skin, not her lips. It's kept her nostrils sharp. It's kept her eyes sharp. And now obviously that is full porcelain doll status. So let's bring both of those all the way back down. As far as amount, I would say maybe going up to 40 at about the most. You really gotta be careful with these kinds of tools because these kinds of tools, they can be a dead giveaway for, for too much editing. That's absurd. All of this, all the fact that all of this is just sliders is, ah. I feel like I wasted 20 years learning Photoshop. <laughs> and jumping down from skin AI is body AI. And this is something that I would never use on my wife because she's beautiful, but just for demonstration purposes, uh, here we go. Here's body AI, here's adjustments, and I have shape and abdomen. And again, Luminar Neo has used its AI to understand the image. And it also knows where her body is and where her abdomen is. So I'm actually able to just with a slider grab this and I could tighten up her waistline by just pulling it up this way and grab the abdomen and it kind of does like a pinch effect on, on the belly. Now that's an absurd amount to do. And what I would say that these two tools are for are not for taking someone like Morgan, who's already tiny, and the angle that she was standing already looked good. What I would use this for is if she, who is tiny, stood at the wrong angle or I shot it at a weird angle to where she didn't look as thin as she normally looks. That's where a tool like this is good because you can take what otherwise would be an image that she would look at and go, whoa, I don't look like that. I can fix that and take an image that she would have otherwise rejected and make it a keeper. So we should be using the tools that we have at our disposal to make someone look their best, not, not a better version of who they are. Does that make sense? We're not trying to take people and make them look at an image and go, oh wow, you did a lot of work on me. We're trying to make it so that they look at an image of themselves and they go, you are a great photographer. You just take the most amazing photos of me. <laughs> and Body AI can help you do that. Okay, one more thing I wanna show you guys. If you look through the tools panel, there's, there's so many things I could show you guys right now. I wanna show you one more image though. This is a raw image we shot up in San Francisco. I'm gonna jump over my tools, do a quick crop on this guy. Okay, this image is already looking a lot better. Here's a quick before and after of what I'm doing here. But you can see that the foreground and the background are, are differently lit. The foreground is much darker, we are darker, and the background is really bright. And Luminar Neo has a way to change that really, really simply. We're gonna go down here to their Relight AI. Again, the AI understands this image and it understands everything in it. If you wanted to see it, I can actually go up to Layer Properties and I can click on Masking and I can click on Mask AI and it's gonna read the entire image. It's gonna kind of show me what it is seeing. And after Mask AI runs, I can see human, sky, architecture, mountains. If I click on human, it's basically the foreground. If there's humans and a thing, I bet it got the bike also. There we go, so it's got me, if we add transport in, I think that is, yep, that's gonna get most of the bike there. So you can use that Mask AI for it to show you what it's seen, and then you could edit those things individually. But really simply with Relight AI, I have brightness near, brightness far, and depth. And this has basically taken my image, understood what's in focus, what's out of focus, and created a depth map. It understands foreground and background. So if I was to say my background is too bright and my foreground is too dark, and I wanna even these out a little bit, instead of, instead of what I would do in the past, I would probably go in to Photoshop and I would probably try to burn in some of the background or make a curves layer and then, I don't know, maybe I would pen tool out me and her and the bike, which would take me a long time. But with Luminar Neo, I'm gonna go in here and just use brightness near, start to crank this up and watch me and her. You can see we're, just us, we're getting brighter. The background's not getting brighter, just, just the foreground is getting brighter. I'll take brightness far and I'll crank that down and same thing, you're seeing the background get darker, 
but it's it's not changing us at all. So here's a before of the relight tool and an after of the relight tool. So this is just that tool of work. If I, if I totally cancel these back out, you can see how crazy bright the background is, how dark we are in relation to it. And if I crank them back up to where they were, um, it like perfectly evenly fills us in there. It is crazy. This whole program, every little tool that I go into, it it just breaks my brain more and more that you're able to do this just with sliders. And even though this is a program aimed at beginner, intermediate hobbyist photographers, I'm for sure gonna be using this to take my iPhone shots, to take my shots that I've had a bunch of old images. I'm gonna just start running old images through here and adding cool skies to them because Images look cooler with skies. Shoot down to the first link in the description, download Luminar Neo, jump in there, start planning around with these tools, and you can save 10% off of an annual subscription by using code Manning. When you when you start playing around with this, you're, your brain is gonna be as broken as mine is. And you'll feel the same as me, like whatever time you've spent in Photoshop, learning Photoshop, it apparently was wasted. This is the most impressive use case of AI editing that I've seen so far. I'm gonna really crank it up and like go super. <laughs> he looks like an alien. Honey, you look beautiful. You don't need this at all. I would never, I would never do this to your photos. You are gorgeous. I wish I just had some of these tools in real life. Like if I could just take my face in real life and just put a skin filter on it, that'd be great. Get rid of some of these lines. How about that? You just could do like Luminar Neo, but for your face. <laughs>